Residents in West Columbia spent the day cleaning up after yesterday's thunderstorms caused some major damage. Yes, yeah, some were fortunate to only have a few branches to pick up. Others, though, had trees completely fall into their cars and their houses. So News 19's Rachel Rip got out there today to see what the damage looked like and joins us now with the latest. What'd you find, Rachel? That's right, Andrea. Now, as you can see right here, this is the tree that is sitting on this man's roof, this homeowner's roof. We're here on C Street and Parsons Street, and he tells me that there's obviously roof damage. There's also going to be possibly ceiling damage, infrastructure to the electrical unit, as well as walls. Just a lot of water came in here over the course of yesterday's storm. Now I'm going to walk over here so I can show you, but this tree is very big. Um, it's 32 inches in diameter. Now, luckily, some other people did not have as severe of damage. Now, one woman living on Decree Avenue says she came home from work to a large tree branch on her roof and her 50 foot tree in the backyard completely uprooted. She says her neighbor met her to help as soon as she got home. I was fortunate that this tree kind of fell in the perfect spot. It missed a shed, it missed power lines. Um, it didn't hurt my dogs. I have two dogs that were here by themselves. Now she tells me she'll have free firewood out on her street this weekend after her yard crew comes to help her clean up. And another resident on Augusta Street tells me the thunderstorm shook his house and he heard a big boom before it crashed and his tree, br tree branch broke. But we're coming back to this location here on Parsons Street. And this homeowner, he tells me that the agent for the insurance company he deals with has come out, he's you know, assessed the damage, and they're still gonna wait with um, the cost of that damage, but we'll be keeping you updated on this story as it develops. Reporting live in West Columbia, Rachel Ripp, News 19, WLTX.